I now want to introduce you to the databases. I want you to just understand and be comfortable as you work your way through the information that you've gathered so far. School principals are held responsible for a school's literacy levels. Class teachers need to understand each child's problems and to prepare reports that accurately describe each child's progress. And of course, ultimately, parents have overall responsibility to look after their child's education. But none of that can happen without data. And we aim to provide all of those needs, principals, class teachers, and parents. And we will provide that information automatically within five seconds, anywhere in the world. Let us start with the report of a single child. This database is automatically updated every time you test, and it, it examines all the important sub-skills. Things like BDP confusions, confusion between letter names and sounds, knowledge of letter sounds, capacity to blend sounds into syllables, capacity to read real and unfamiliar words, reading speeds both for sentences and words, which says something about fluency, and proofreading. It is also the only means of determining a child's capacity to guess whole words. And it shows the relationship between phonics and whole word processing. No other system does this. The colour coding indicates the depth of deficit of each subskill, but that is not all. And we'll now look at the second database. This database al allows teachers and parents to see the level of improvement in each subskill. By comparing the top and the bottom uh, of each cell, you can see uh, where things have improved. For example, if you go to the left-hand side, there are two red squares indicating that this child is at a dangerous level and it was initially and hasn't improved. Further along, you can see a grey cell underneath a yellow cell. This is on BDP confusions, which means that he originally had problems at a warning level, but your, your later test indicated that he was now up to grade level. Going further along, you'll see uh, a red cell with a yellow cell underneath, the red cell being the initial test, indicating he was dangerous. Now he's only at a warning level, so he's improving, but there is still work to be done, and so on. The next test shows a class. That child that you saw um, in the uh, first two databases is one of these children here. And the, here you see the, uh, the performance of the whole class. By reading horizontally across the database, teachers can see at a glance the specific needs of every child. They can see what each child needs to be taught. But by reading vertically down each column, teachers can see which problems are more prevalent in their class. They can also identify which children share the same problem, thus allowing them to conduct group teaching in very specific areas. Knowing the specific problems allows teachers to plan specific lessons and to order specific remedial resources. All information is kept confidential, by the way. Each parent or teacher has their own username and password. No teacher can see another teacher's class results unless permission is granted. The principal, however, he is responsible or she is responsible for managing all the school literacy. She often has to discuss progress with a parent or to mentor or a new, a new teacher um, and, or just to discuss with, with class uh, teachers what they should be doing and, and what is possible. Principals can therefore see the results of every child. The next test is the whole school. This system automatically identifies overloaded classes. It can provide objective basis for identifying and rewarding exemplary teachers as increasingly demand by governments. Automatic, detailed reports, including warnings and teaching tips, are produced online within five seconds of completing the test. And here is a typical report. Parents, teachers, and principals are thus empowered. A, to diagnose performance of all the important subskills. B, to have a, an automatic comparison with age norms. C, to objectively determine progress. D, to target teaching 
to each child or each group's specific needs. And finally, to identify overloaded classes, to identify exemplary teachers, and to identify targeted resources. And if you think you've now understood VAS theory and VAS feeling and the interaction between VAS and phonics, consider applying for testing and registration as a VAS certified tester. We will nurse you through the procedure.